Hello students, welcome to Terrific Tuesday. Let's find a place where we have some space to enjoy our stretch. I'm gonna take a big breath and blow it all out like a loud balloon. Here we go. When I'm here in downward frog, I wiggle and feel a stretch in my ankles. I can wobble around and feel a stretch in my knees. When I wiggle a little more, I get a stretch in my hips. Now I'm going to put my hands down, stretch my legs. Here we go. Then roll up. Okay, now I'm going to gently close my eyes and enjoy my breathing. Breathing in and out and in and out. I can imagine myself a strong, calm mountain. Breathing in and out. My feet go down to the center of the earth. My head is as high as the sky as I breathe in and out. All of nature is around me. The animals live and play on me. The rain falls on me. The wind blows through the trees on me and I am still here, calm and strong, breathing in and out. A strong, calm mountain, breathing in and out. Gently open your eyes. Okay, so for today, we're going to go back to a song that has a real connection to all the lessons we've been doing about our feelings with Ms. Dodson and Ms. M. It's If You're Happy and You Know It. Okay, let me fix the camera a little bit. And we're not going to just say, if you're happy and you know it. Remember, we talked about some other feelings we could do for the song. So let's start off with, if you're happy and you know it, though, okay? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Now we said if you're sad, we thought our bodies were kind of droopy. We were looking for the signs of someone being sad. Maybe their shoulders are droopy, their body's droopy. Maybe their face is a little sad. If you're sad and you know it, droop around. If you're sad and you know it, droop around. If you're sad and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're sad and you know it, droop around. Okay, another feeling we talked about was anger. How anger can make us feel tight in our bodies. And in the song, it says, stomp your feet for the next one, right? So we could just use that for anger, and our faces can be kind of angry too, okay? If you're angry and you know what, stomp your feet. If you're angry and you know what, stomp your feet. If you're angry and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're angry and you know what, stomp your feet. Okay, then at the end of the song, we say, if you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hmm, okay, so we could try that. Here we go. If you're happy and you knew it, know it, do all three. <coughs> droop, droop, stomp, stomp. Oh, and we forgot hooray at the end. So we could do four. If you're happy and you know it, do all four. Happy, sad, angry, hooray. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all four. Show all four feelings. Clap. Droop, droop. Stomp, stomp. Hooray. Okay, give me a minute and I'll fix the camera for our other November poem. Students, let's take a look at the November poem. <clears throat> and let's sneak peek to remind ourselves it has to do with a whale Oh, and whale rhymed with tail. I think those words were in it. And it was also spouting chicken soup out of its spout. Okay. In November's gusty gale, I will flop my flippy tail and spout hot soup. I'll be a whale 
spouting once, spouting twice, spouting chicken soup with rice. So that was okay, but it was a little like a robot. So I brought my spoon along. Now that we've read this poem, I think now three times, right? We should be able to start scooping a little bit. And I'm actually gonna go stand on the other side so I can scoop it in the right direction. Okay, so let me just fix the camera a little bit. Here we go. In November's gusty gale, I will flop my flippy tail and spout hot soup. I'll be a whale. Spouting once, spouting twice, spouting chicken soup with rice, okay? So don't forget, as you get more familiar with a poem or a song or even the words in a book that you are rereading, you're gonna start scooping up the words. And some of you stronger readers are already scooping a little, maybe even the first time you read something, right? Okay, give me a minute, let me fix this for our morning message. Let's take a look at our message. <clears throat> November 10th, 2020. Dear students, Wednesday we have a holiday for Veterans Day. What is a veteran? Mrs. Kilmer. So let's reread. Um, that starts off with a big word, right? Wednesday, Wednesday, we have a holiday for Veterans Day. Okay, that's a sentence, one idea. One sentence starts with a capital, ends with a period. I noticed some other capitals in that sentence though. Right here, it talks about the name of the holiday, right? Veterans Day, and it has capital V, capital D. So remember, the name of something uses a capital too, a capital letter to start it off. Okay, last sentence, what is a veteran? With a question mark, what is a veteran? Mrs. Kilmer, do you know what a veteran is? I think some of you might know it has to do with someone who's done something in the past, maybe some connection to the military, like the, a soldier, someone who's been a soldier or a sailor or a Marine. Today in our read aloud, we'll have a book about what Veterans Day means, but I look forward to hearing about what you think a veteran might be. What is a veteran? Maybe you know because there's a veteran in your family. We'll talk about it later. See you soon.